This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by AN Hosting. Hey, I'm Callie Lewis here at IFA in Berlin, Germany. Ford invited us to this exclusive event to introduce their new concept car. This is the Ford Evos. And really, this is the face of the new Ford, as they say. With this, you're going to be able to notice certain design elements come out in future cars. But typically with concept cars, you see stuff 20 years out, 10 years out you're actually gonna see certain design elements start to come out in four months with a car that they're going to announce very soon. So some of the things that you're gonna notice, uh, you're gonna notice the front grill up here. Uh, that is sitting higher. It's a trapezoid grill and it's sitting higher because as they say, you know, the, uh, the higher it sits, the prouder the car is, and they want the car to be very proud. Uh, also the laser cut lights. Now headlights, tail lights, they have started to become very big and large in cars. Well, these are really focused on doing what they're supposed to do, shine light on the road in front of you. And one of the most awesome things about the Ford Evos is these gullwing doors. Yeah! <laughs> and it's not just the two doors that you usually see in these cars, it's four doors that open automatically off to the side. How awesome is that? <laughs> All right, so the design team is it holds 1,150 people that concentrate on all this stuff. But it's not just the outside, it's also the inside, the driving experience and the technology. So let's take a look at that. Hey guys, I'm here with Paul Mascarenas, who's the CTO of Ford. Thanks for joining us. Hey John, good to be with you. Hey, um, I am really excited by this new Evos, and uh, A, it looks amazing, mm -hmm. but B, you know, as a geek, the super geek in me loves the technology, and when you were doing your presentation, you were talking about all kinds of crazy stuff. Why don't you give us just two or three things that you can envision that we would see coming down the road here for Ford? I'd love to. The technology store on Evos is really all about having a car that's connected to the cloud, and by connecting the car to the cloud, we can use all kinds of information and data to make a car that really adapts to your personal lifestyle. So whether it's understanding how you like to drive, where you like to drive, your driving style, your music preferences, the type of traffic that you're in, we can really use those cloud services to provide a superior driving experience for our customers. Safe, fun, and really enjoyable. It's good fun, it's a great story. That is very cool, and you know, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of work going on in the cloud lately. Uh, but but automotive companies haven't been really going there. So am I understanding you right that Ford envisions a world in which you guys operate a cloud and I can s kind of use that cloud uh, as a center point for all of my, my daily activities? Absolutely, and it's an extension really of whether you're at home, whether you're in the office, now extending that into the vehicle. And it's this convergence between the consumer world, your mobile devices, and the car and really being able to do that in a really fun, you know, a way that really enhances your everyday life, your driving experience in ways that you would never imagine possible in a conventional vehicle. Well, I'm excited about it. You know, other companies like Apple and Microsoft have been thinking about, you know, trying to get people to consolidate their stuff in the clouds. But for those guys, they don't really have a compelling, for me personally, there's not really a compelling reason for me to give them my data and put it there. But since my car is so central to my life, even more than my computer when I think about it, I actually could see giving you guys access to that stuff if you can then sync it all together and make it seamless so that I leave my house and it's just everything is in my car and I spend so much time in the car. There you go, you said it. It's yeah. really about creating that seamless experience and um, really just an extension of the things that you do in your everyday life, bringing it into the vehicle doing it in a way that you can still enjoy driving the vehicle, fun to drive, great dynamics, but to do it in a way that is very adaptable. So whether you're driving in the city, whether you're driving in a more rural type environment where you want to have a little bit of fun, the car will adapt to what you want to do at any given time. I can't wait. Now speaking, one last little question for you. Um, speaking of driving and having a little bit of fun, you guys, in, in for the concept car, you imagine a hybrid powertrain that uses both electric and gas. And w w what do you see in terms of, of those hybrid systems coming down the road for Ford? 
Yeah, so this is a, a hybrid, uh, actually a plug-in hybrid vehicle. The technology is called uh, Power Split, and it allows you to use either the petrol engine, the gasoline engine, or the electric motor, either independently or together. Uh, it's actually the same technology that we'll be launching in our C-Max vehicle uh, over the next 12 to 18 months. We're calling that Energy. But the concept is that we would have a lithium-ion battery. We would have a, a combined driving range of about 500 miles, about 30 miles on electric only. Uh, with the concept car, we've showed a wireless charging, inductive charging. Uh, so very convenient. You just park up your vehicle and it That'd charges. Um, and then we intend to roll that out along with our other electrified technologies. So we have our battery electric focus. We have the hybrids on our Fusion, on our Escape vehicle, and now we add the plug-in hybrid on the C-Max. So a lot going on at Ford and a huge commitment to CO2 and fuel economy improvements, CO2 reduction and fuel economy improvements. Well, we certainly appreciate the green initiatives. We also appreciate you guys saving us, lightening up our, you know, from lightening up our wallet on all that gasoline. And uh, the technology sounds really, really exciting. So thanks for spending a little time with us thanks, here today. I'm glad we could show it to you. Thanks. When you need hosting, I've got the place for you. AN Hosting has been providing affordable and simple hosting since 2001. And you can get three months of service for free, a free domain, and $100 in search engine credits with Google and Yahoo. It's super simple to install WordPress, Drupal, and over 100 other popular scripts. Go to anhosting.com slash geekbeat for your three free months. I have Jay Mays, the head of the design team for the Ford Evos, the new concept car. Jay, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Nice to meet you. All right. So I, I talked a little bit about how this car, we're supposed to see design elements from what we see here in about four months, correct? That's right. Uh, we've, we've really looked at this car and said, what could we, could we roll out at the Frankfurt Motor Show that would give I think our customers as well as the media a good indication of where Ford's next generation design DNA is going and that's the whole point of, of Evos. Uh, the name Evos is really about evolution and this is an evolution of our current design language that we sell here in Europe called kinetic design. What makes this interesting is this is the first global design language for Ford Motor Company. All right, and so specifically you're probably not going to tell me this, but I'm going to ask it anyway because I know you guys want to know. Uh, what specific design elements are we going to see there in Frankfurt? Well, I, I mean, you're going to see this entire car, uh, so you'll well, see. Well, yeah. I mean, but like. <laughs> but 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 if you go forward and think, well, what design elements off this car will eventually make it into production, then I think that's probably what people would want to know simply because they'll be able to buy it. So if I kind of look at this car and we, we go around it, uh, let me just start at the front because we call that the new face of Ford. Uh, we've had a design language in Europe with the kinetic design that takes what we call a trapezoidal shape on the car and we've moved that up the front of the car on this vehicle to make it look more modern. We've anchored that trapezoid shape between two very, very slim in height headlamps that we call laser cut headlamps. So if you look around the industry, regardless of whether it's the United States, Europe, Asia Pacific, you'll see that headlamps, I think in some cases on all manufacturers' cars have grown to almost absurd proportions. Well, headlamps are supposed to shine light down the road. Right. So with the new technology that we have in LEDs, we've been able to reduce the height down significantly. Now, it looks cool because it gives the car a bit of a menacing look, but it also anchors that trapezoidal grill, I think, in a very upscale way. You, like, you think menacing? I think it's adorable. <laughs> I'll go for that. That's fine. <laughs> All right. So how do you uh, determine how you're going to design something? I mean, in, in concept cars, you're thinking the future. You're talking to people about what they're going to want in the future. How do you know that? How do you decide on those elements? Well, I, I have to probably preface that by saying you'll see a lot of concept cars in Frankfurt as you do all auto shows. Most of them you won't remember three weeks after the show. You'll just forget about them. So the significance of a car like this is that all of what you see on the car, to a large extent, will work its way into production cars for Ford globally uh, say over the next five years. So uh, we've talked a little bit about the headlamps and the grill, but what you're also seeing on this vehicle is an extremely sophisticated design language that you might expect to see on upscale European cars like a Jaguar or a Maserati. And when we think about delivering, I think, premium qualities of those cars to a mainstream Ford customer, that becomes very exciting. It doesn't mean the car is going to cost more, but it allows the Ford customer to have a premium experience. 
Wow, what's really exciting is that Ford is looking out for two kinds of people. One, people like John P who are really into the driving experience and also people like me who really care about the tech inside the car. So I think they're doing a great job at kind of rounding that out. I look very much forward to seeing all of this concept become a reality. Thanks so much to Ford for bringing us out and sharing it with us and so that we could share it with you guys. We want to hear what you think. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of all of the design concepts and all of the new stuff that we might see very soon. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.